What is going on guys? So I made an intro this morning but it was all rush, rush, rush and um, I never actually got around to finishing it. But we've been at the zoo for quite a few hours now. We've had our meeting already. I'm <laughs> So today we're down here checking out Peel Zoo. I say down because it is an hour and a half away from my house. It is miles away. But I feel like it was definitely worth it. I've spent most of the day here running around checking out animals. And, um, and I'm still finding more and more uh, other types of animals. Because we've been running around so quickly. I've missed so much stuff. But um, how about we go check out some animals and then I'll talk some more later. Man, I, I didn't leave home until much later than I thought. I was gonna leave at six o'clock and I didn't leave till like 7.30. But I got to the servo to fuel up and <laughs> I actually saw a friend that I haven't seen in forever. He came up to me and he was like, bro, I'm getting married today. I was like, that's cool. And that's something I wouldn't have known if I, um, if I didn't leave late. So I wish them all the best and I uh, hope that they had an awesome day. So this place is extremely heavy on birds, like quite a few birds. Um, I'm not a big fan of birds, but I am a fan of big birds. You wanna say hi? Ah! Hello! You're so pretty. Look at you. Ah! Hello. Hello, you wanna scratch? You scratch? You scratch? Can I touch you? Can I touch you? Ah. Ah. All right, sorry. <laughs> One day I will be responsible enough to get a macaw, but not now. Not not anytime soon. Don't have the space for it. I got too many projects going on at the moment, but um one day it'll definitely happen. If I'm capable of doing it, I'll do it. If not, then I guess I'll just have to come down here and check out this one. I've been running around trying to collect bloody, I was going to say flowers, but I'm not looking for flowers. I'm looking for feathers. But all the kids picked them all up this morning and there is nothing left around here. You've got to do the vlog. Wait, is it on? Yeah, that's recording. Oh, hi there, everyone. We're going around Peel Zoo uh, right now and we haven't seen that much animals. We probably a picture. Yeah, this is yeah. a moving picture. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, we've been quite around the things a lot and bye. <laughs> that right now. Wise up. Wait, say it again. I, swear, I was about to say Ah. Just have a mad scream off. Go on. Ah. Uh, I win. <laughs> It's all on your back of your yeah. Hey. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, catch up. <laughs> You're the cutest. You're the cutest. Yes. Yes. Come in, come in. I, I, now she comes to you. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, please. Oh, how are you? Just like a spark that's breaking out Can't make a stop, can't turn back now You know that there's no room for doubt No, we can't turn back now <laughs> Are they bullying food out here? Yeah, oh, how rude! Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's one reason for why I asked.
be called a devil. Come on. So it's because of the noise they make. They make a horrible screaming, screeching, growling noise. Um, so hopefully you will get to hear that today. Uh, so when the settlers first arrived in Tasmania, they got off their boats and they found a beautiful piece of crystal wilderness and untouched forest. So they thought it was going to take forever. So they built their farms in that setting and they started to raise their sheep. Uh, but it definitely didn't take too long for that paradise to become lost. They kept getting woken in the middle of the night by that horrible screaming, screeching, growling noise. And when they'd wake the next morning, they'd find a whole sheep gone. You know, not just a little bit eaten or a little bit attacked, but completely gone. Is he? No. No, he's not much bigger than your domestic house cat when you really think about it. Uh, but definitely do not let his size fool you. <laughs> They bite you. You're not allowed to touch them. Oh, they so sweet though. Leave them alone. They're so sweet though. The ones fighting is the female. You're dominating them. Yeah, boy. You're the best. I think that's it. That'd be sexy. I think the geese are scarier. Oh, gosh. Oh, hi. Oh, hoi, hoi. No, 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 no yeah, actually, that's why you. you got you got food. I didn't have ah, food. Ah, don't attack yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. Nip you. Nip you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Don't attack me. You're all right there, mate. Bit of no, hunger. Hey, you hurt? missed it. Yeah. Oh, look. It, that was the key. The key was the food. <laughs> so there is heaps of cool things here. Um, Earlier today, I got a little bit of footage. Oh, hello. Can I give you a scratch? Wait, where's your food? Do you like apple? Oh, what's that? Oh, carrot. I don't think you eat that. No, you will. Give you something sweet. Oh, you're so shy. Come here, there you go. You're so cute. I know. So adorable. Yes. There is lots of cute things running around this place uh, that you might not even notice them, but there is there is quite a bit here. It is quite a big place. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. I enjoy, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I guess that's because I spent a lot of time just running around and spending it with the animals instead of running around ugh, instead of running around filming, which might make this video a little bit more boring for you guys. But um, I guess next time. When I come back, maybe when it gets crocodiles, I'll have a better idea on what I need to get videos of. There is a few massive Avery's here, but this one is by far my favorite. I want one of these. Before I go in this world, I'm building something that big. Like, for sure. This is absolutely bonkers. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but I'll we'll, we'll figure that one out later. Maybe a macaw, hey? <laughs> there is so many birds here. There's owls everywhere. Uh, uh, there's a few incredibly colorful birds here. 
There's a lot of peacocks running around. I think he said that there were 16 or 18 peacocks. Birds definitely aren't a big thing of mine, but I can definitely appreciate them. But I, I would have to say these guys here, the 20 frog mounts, are probably my favorite um, out of almost any bird here, except for the macaw. Absolutely love macaws. Quite a few empty enclosures at the moment, but Red's trying to get around to filling everything up and um, sorting out some stuff. A bigger reptile room is where he's going because uh, Red obviously loves his reptiles. And um, this place is definitely lacking in the reptiles, but that'll be sorted out very soon, hopefully. And then that is when we will be coming back and doing another video. So whatever I miss in this video, uh, be sure to comment or message me on Facebook and I will see if I can do it next time. So um, maybe uh, pff, feeding videos, I might time it a little bit better. But I definitely like this place. Like it is big, it's very accessible. You can see everything. I guess the um, bird cages because it is a bird cage. You've got the mesh in your way. Can't not have the uh, the mesh in your way. Otherwise, everything would get out. So, I guess that's the only bad thing about having a very heavy bird orientated area um, is that there's quite a few things that you can't really see. But the devils, the Tasmanian devils, where are you? Hiding. It's that time of the day where everything's about to start coming out, but it's still too hot for everything to come out. But um, it's a very beautiful plot of land. I definitely want something like this one day. Just a big money pit, I guess. Another one. Unfortunately, I don't think I'd have the customer base or the, uh, or the balls, I guess, to charge people to come and see my thing. So it would solely rely on... <gasps> So I guess she's come out to get a, a little bit of warmth. Wait, is this the female or the male? I think this is the female and the male is in the other one. So the female here, she has this enclosure, the next one there and the one just there. So she has all of these, the backs are open there and then the male one's door is there and he has that big open bit up there. But that is so cute. Ah, uh, we won't disturb her too much, even though I really want to, but we won't. And the wombat, he was over, I don't know if it's a he. This one a he? I'm not very sure, but he was over there this morning. Hey, buddy! Is it two or one? Oh, you're doing such a good job eating your norm. I got a little bit of videos of him and uh, I thought maybe later on he'd be out but he has not moved all day. Being there, what a life. What a sick house, what a cool area. The sprinklers come on and even, not even just to the animals but to be here, uh, it makes a huge difference in temperature. If you are doing outdoor pits like this, just having a simple little irrigation system in it can drop the enclosure temperature massive amounts. They got a little quacker in here, up the back there. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. I, I've, I, could, I was gonna say I could spend all day here, but I have spent all day here. I think we're gonna run around now and try and find some uh, animals that I haven't managed to get on film and then um, go home and put all of this video together. Me down, cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground.
Seen your earring. Oh god, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I was like, if he goes from my remember that? Sorry. If he goes for my face, oh, oh I'm sorry. You're a messier eater than me. Oh. Look at this. I'm a bloody. Look at this guy. I'm gonna be covered in. Oh, now you're just throwing it on me. It's going down my bloody shirt. That's what happened with apple pieces before. <laughs> my best friend. My best friend. <laughs> 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 So this would definitely have to be one of my most favourite things about the zoo is being able to walk in here and uh, hang out with this dude. What's your name again? I forgot your name. What's this one's name? It does have a name. It starts with a C, I think. I don't remember your name. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. This is what you get for being mean to me before. I came in here before and he didn't want to have a bar on me. And now, we're best friends again. So I guess I should learn your name. And then, then you can message me. I come down here, bring you food. Maybe, hey, hey. I'll talk to Red, we'll see if we can take it home. Nah, maybe not. You should stay here with your friends. We got his name, his name's actually Khan. And like, yeah, I should remember that. We like, Khan, mate, Khan, mate. <laughs> Look at him! You're so pretty. You're so pretty. That is the day done. Um, I got as much filming as I possibly could get done. But I, I will definitely admit I spent a lot of time uh, playing around with the animals more than actually filming the animals. But um, no, I definitely had a good day. We're going out for dinner now. Um, Probably staying way later than I should, but uh, we'll be all right. Let's say goodbye, mate. Goodbye. See you later. All right. Oh, we're gonna go lock up and then head out for dinner. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay awesome, and remember, you can't fail if you try. See you later.